it is stacked here that only looks like a few it is fucking stacked and this is three portals or four portals now there's going to be a bunch of queen balandir loot after that one i'm curious what the prices are going to be Yo, welcome Froney. So by now you saw what happened yesterday. I got extremely lucky. Our guild dropped a Queen Balandir crossbow. I was one of the people that was alleged to bid and I was able to secure it for 20k. Big shout out to the guild. Big thank you for giving me that weapon at that price. Because I know that the actual prices is more like three times to four, even five times as much of the value in early access. And now we are doing another upgrade madness and getting that archboss weapon to max so the first thing that we want to do is get all of our free traits that we need for this is going to be hit chance heavy attack chance and critical so the buff duration that we have on it we do need to change sorry to interrupt but short self-promotion is needed currently 91.2 percent of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel so let's make a deal if you learn something new in this video you have to subscribe we farmed up 500 trade conversion stones and I hope to reroll this into one of the useful stats first. Also important to note here is trade unlock stones cost 200 on the weapon, but the trade conversion is also 100. It is not increased like the trade unlock stones for archboss weapons. So hit chance, critical hit or heavy attack would all be fine for us. Mana region. That means we are going one more round in the carousel. Buff duration, and we are going one more round. Hit chance, and we got it. Nice! Next up, I wanted to show one addition to the trade unlock stone guide. If you're going to the lithography and you are going to epic, you will see here is a big source of trade unlock stones that you can gather. I am still missing 10, so we are going for a supreme devotion means we will go into the lithograph in your auction house buy one of those lithos craft it we are able to get the 10 trade unlock stones here giving us a total of 400 trade unlock stones farmed based on my guide now allowing us to get the critical hit chance and the heavy attack chance And now we are having a fully traded archboss weapon and we are already having two heavy attack chances um, in the inventory. That one I was able to snipe for I think only 90 Lucent, way under value and that one I just dropped today. This is just loot that we had regularly from the open world dungeons. So this is our base resources that we had gathered naturally. And now we do want to level it up to level And we have to remember to uncheck. Oh, we're getting a big one. That is nice because now we can transfer. I already have that weapon um, fully traded plus nine. So, so what I can recommend for you is when you are dropping stuff now in this open world dungeons and they are not um, like of like a value that is higher than 10 Lucent, you can also trade it in into one item and then either dissolve it. That will give you lots of powder if it's fully traded or you can already prepare items to level up farmer gear that you're about to get. Because I do not want to put my Rex Shimmerous Bow into my Queen Balandir. I want to keep both in case there's patches or whatever, anything ongoing. I just want to have both and getting a bow ready like this, you can do it with free resources. It takes almost no time. 
now we are at nine let's go okay so the most expensive trait here is the heavy attack chance which means we are going to go for one blue heavy attack therefore we are going into the filter we are choosing rare find trait weapon heavy attack chance and we're going to purchase that one then next up we're having critical we do want to go to epic now because you can see here as soon as the epic is going below 120 it's actually better to buy a guaranteed upgrade in comparison but we are still having um one of the guaranteed ones from the blessings and that one we are going to use with the hit one because you can see hit is slightly more expensive than critical hit chance So we're going to trade the rest up now. So we're going to go here and use the blessing for the blue one. And on the heavy attack chance, we're also going to use the blessing. And here we have it, a fully traded Archboss weapon before the castle scene. I love it.